Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you the generic repository in ASP.NET Core. So first of all, design a model uh, like employee model and uh, department uh, class uh, in the model folder. So uh, here we have two uh, class in the model folder that is the employee and uh, department. After that, you can open your uh, data context class and add these class uh, in the data context class like uh, departments and employees and after that uh, you can uh, add a interface uh, for the generic repository for the generic type uh, where t is is the class and create some methods uh, or you can say that uh, declare some methods list get all get by id insert update delete and save and last uh, that is create some repositories for all these functions okay so implement a class by using that uh, interface so public class generic repository t and that implement from the i generic repository t where t is a class and t is whatever the class name employee as well as department now in which you can add a, a application context application db context and also set db set in the form of t and t is the class name in the table and assign the table is the context context dot set t and in the delete function you can set table dot find first of all find the uh, object and if exist then remove it now in the second method that is get all okay get all i mean to say that table dot to list okay that written list of t and get by id that is object of id uh, so you can use table dot find id and in the insert method you can uh, use a t object uh, t is the class name uh, um, like employee and the department and you can add a new employee as well as department in the table now use save changes in the save method and update is um, the different form like table dot attach attach uh, that entity and after that attachment of mm, the table you can uh, use entry dot state uh, entry state uh, dot modified i mean to say that update okay so uh, these are the repositories that is the generic repository okay so uh, these are the implemented method in the generic repository form now after that you can use migration so add migration in the project by using add migration and the migration name and update database okay now after that open a startup.cs file where your connection string is there uh, use sql server services dot add db context application db context options options dot use the sql server where your connection string is there database name is centric repo now after that you can add a dependency injection in the startup.cs file add transject in the form of i generic repository and generic repository i generic repository for the employee and the, the, here we have two uh, dependencies uh, for the employee and the department now after that you can create a, a controller for the employee uh, repository i is generic repository in the form of a t t is the employee okay now similarly you can design for the department where uh, replace the employee with the department only so okay uh, employee dot insert you can call uh, the repositories functions where uh, exist now just run it and uh, say uh, run it and uh, use it uh, here we have uh, some uh, disadvantage of generic repository that means if uh, employee have some additional method then uh, it's not used it here because uh, department its uh, department class does not uh, hold or you can say use that functions okay so uh, you can say that uh, it's not a uh, domain driven programming I mean to say that if you are working in domain driven programming then must to add some additional classes for that.
So thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core and uh, Xamarin's and uh, C Sharp you can say. So don't forget please subscribe my channel and like this video. Thank you very much.